Hi, I'm Marty Chan, a kids author, storyteller, and playwright. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Here, I'll talk about what it's like to be a writer, I'll share some writing tips, sometimes I'll talk about my books, and other times I'll just tell some fun stories. In this video, I'm going to talk about what it's like for an author to put together a story. To help me out, I have a visual aid. Actually, I've got three visual aids, these juggling balls right here. Believe it or not, there's a lot in common between juggling and writing a story. In juggling, you need at least three objects for juggling to look impressive. In writing, you need three elements for the story to seem complete. You need a beginning, a middle, and an end. If you don't have all three elements, your story never seems quite right. In the same way that if I only juggle with one ball, it does not look very interesting, right? So this is what it looks like when an author only gives you the beginning of the story. Let's see what happens when we add in the second element, the middle. Okay, well now the story's starting to move, but it still doesn't seem quite right. So let's see what happens when we add in the third element, the ending. Okay, yeah, now the story seems right. You need a beginning and a middle and an end for your story to have the right shape. Now I'll let you in on a secret. The reason why people are watching a juggler, they're just waiting for the juggler to drop the ball. Same thing with somebody who's reading a book. They're wondering if the main character is going to succeed or fail. If that's the case, the way to keep a reader interested is to make it hard for the main character to get what they want. Get them in trouble. This is called raising the stakes. Another way to keep the reader's interest is to pick up the pace, make the story move faster, and the reader will turn the page over and over again. Now, after a certain point, the reader will get used to the direction the story's going in. So, if that's the case, the way to keep a reader's interest is to change the direction of the story. This is called a plot twist. Now, when they get used to the direction the story's going in, change the direction again. That is the way to keep the reader's interest from the beginning to the middle to the end. And that's all you need to know about shaping a story. A beginning, a middle, and an end. If you want to keep the reader's interest, raise the stakes, pick up the pace, and sometimes throw in a plot twist. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click the like or subscribe button and you'll see more like this. In the meanwhile, take those tips I gave you and try to create your own stories. We'll see you in the next video.